What up, Reject Nation? Strongest Avengers have from New Rock Stars. John! Koi Jandro, who, by the way, uh, I know I mentioned this last video, Koi's Comic Corner is a segment that we are starting up here on the channel. The video is supposed to be out last weekend, but uh, I, it took me longer to edit than I than I anticipated, but it'll be out this week. I promise. Not I promise, for my brevity. I promise, Koi. It'll be out. It'll be out. Our comic expert here to help break down the Thor trailer right after the reaction. Guys, if you could leave a like, that'd be very much appreciated. Also, subscribe, click the notification bell to get notified when Koi's Comic Corner is up here on the channel. And lastly, this video is sponsored by BetterHelp, a company that we are very excited to partner with because all three of us are therapy people. Yeah. Therapy, therapy people. Bros. Like all those other people who don't do real therapy. We know therapy up in here. Mental, and physical therapy, health. Get therapy taught us to be this way about other people. Get yeah. your brain jacked. <laughs> brain gate. Idiot. More on that after the reaction. But yeah, let's watch this trailer. Kids, get to popcorn now. Let me tell you the story of the space viking, Thor Odinson. He was no ordinary man. He was a god. After saving the Earth for the 500th time, Thor set off on a new journey. Nice. Well, he got in shape. He went from dad bod to god bod. Yes. <laughs> and after all that, he reclaimed his title <laughs> as the one and only Thor. Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> Jane? Whoa! Whoa! Oh shit, son! God, where are you? Your old ex-girlfriend. What's it been like? Three, four years? <laughs> Eight years, seven months, and six days. Jane's <laughs> <laughs> uh, busy. Sensing feelings. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> She looks great, man. Yeah. The only ones who got I to hear him! Yeah! Yes. Yes. themselves. <laughs> yes. Wow! Oh, my wow. Oh, my vow. <laughs> All gods will die. I we don't love it. <laughs> oh. I was gonna say that was very, very impressive what you did back there. Yeah. Damn. She's my first bad guy. <laughs> Never forget you first. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus. For you. Oh, oh, like color distortion. Better kill. <laughs> you have something worth fighting for. Wow. Like <laughs> sensitive. Oh, give me that monochrome all day. Let's see who you are. I take off your disguise. <laughs> and flip. Oh, yeah! Oh, flip too hard, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we help Eventually, grape. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. That is Beautiful. so 80s-tastic. Hey. What a stunning... Second you hear Christian Bale's American voice. Oh, you know. Are going to see gore? Like, sword? Like... Oh, that the, looks, it's, yeah, the, the inverted color. looks amazing, yeah. Dude, that was so freaking epic. I think we all loved it. Look. Koi has to get you out of here. You guys go 30 seconds. Like, I'm going right to get out. No, we, we should get to you first. Okay. We should okay. get to you first. Okay. So really quick, a word from BetterHelp, and then we'll get to Koi's breakdown. Thank you, BetterHelp. So in honor of May being Mental Health Awareness Month, today's video is sponsored by the folks at BetterHelp.com. The goal of this month is to raise awareness about mental health. And as two people have been in talk therapy, couples counseling, John and I, right. is individual talk therapy for the better part of a decade. This is actually a topic that we take pretty serious. And the month is also about fighting stigma and providing support to anybody who might be struggling with their own experience. So through BetterHelp, you can gain access to customized online therapy. That includes video, phone, and even live chat sessions with one other 20,000 therapists. You don't even have to see anyone on camera if you really don't want to. And while traditional offline therapy is great, it can also be pretty expensive. And BetterHelp is not only affordable, but they also offer financial aid and accept HSA benefits. Part of how it works is you'll fill out a questionnaire upon signing up, so BetterHelp can assess your special needs and match you with your first therapist within 48 hours. You can schedule secure sessions with your therapist and exchange unlimited messages with complete confidentiality. So this Mental Health Month, if you or someone you know is struggling, please 
share with them BetterHelp. And feel free to use our special link, betterhelp.com slash realrejects to save yourself 10% on your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash realrejects. Take care of yourselves this month, guys, and the rest of the months while you're at it. Every month. Every month, as every day, as much as you can. <laughs> Koi, get to it. Okay, so there is almost definitely multiple Thors here. I think it all but confirms a lot of the rumors. I think that Gore might actually be systematically taking out Thors in multiple universes. We're living in this multiversal age and all gods must die is so iconic from the comic books. It looks like he is able to manipulate reality in at least the black and white sense, which is very much from the Asad Rabis art from the Jason Aaron run of the Thor comic books. Now, I do think we're going to see the Necro Sword invert time. I think the Necro Sword is going to cause a bit of a reality manipulation, which I think is going to allow him to take out gods with whatever power set he has. Now, I do think we're going to see a blend of Greek mythology, North mythology, all of these things mixing it with the MCU, and that would be a fun way to tie in different mythos in the different universes. While we can play with the universe 833 or 616 or whatever universe we got, we also have the idea to play with these different mythologies. So I think we're not only getting that, but I think that might be why it's so important that we have Jane Foster as the mighty Thor in our universe, anchoring us to the Mjolnir of our universe with the god that is unique to our space. I think there are multiple Odin sons, but I think there's only one mighty Thor, and I think that's why it's going to be really essential to tell this story this way. I also think we're going to see a lot of really interesting hijinks with a lot of mythical characters like the goats. I think we're going to see a lot of stuff with the Guardians of the Galaxy being confused about the multiverse. I think they're going to be a bit of our eye line to understand that there are multiple Thors, and most of all, I think all of this is going to be very approachable through the guise of 80s sexy Hemsworth. Yeah, yes. definitely. Gore the God Butcher, to me, is a character that simplicity is his strength. I think a lot of people are upset that he looks like an action figure that looks like Christian Bale. I think that's the power of this character. Mm -hmm. He's a guy that is pale, nondescript, and has a necro sword and has billowing white robes. What is terrifying is the performance. What is terrifying is what he's capable of. What is terrifying is that this is a person that simplicity allows them to be kind of undermined. Like you don't expect a lot from a guy that looks like Christian Bale when you're in a world of colorful titans. It's not a coincidence that this is the most colorful Marvel film to date. And you've got a character that takes away the very essence of color. You've got a character that takes away the very essence of life. A character who literally wants wants nothing but destruction, which is why I think Tyke has been saying this might be one of the greatest Marvel villains to date. I think his lack of colorful flavor, his lack of versatility, the fact that he's the Emperor Palpatine of this whole world, the fact that he has one goal, he's not nuanced like Thanos. He's not like Killmonger where you identify with him. He Just all like, gods must die. <laughs> really quick though, this is all a teaser for how uh, Koi's coming. <laughs> <laughs> you like this one. It's <laughs> all a teaser for that. This is a trailer the right within channel? a trailer. Within is this trailer. Channel rejects? So, this guy. You know, with Gore the God Butcher's background involving Null, Symbiote, and all yes. that. Yes. I know we have a teaser for the Symbiote being left behind in, uh, you know, No Way Home. Mm -hmm. However, this is a completely different category. You are dealing with all black. You're dealing with the very origins of symbiote. Yep. Do you think we will actually have that included in here or they will just use the aesthetic design? Do you think they will actually go to the history of that? Do you think we will explore the true origins of it? I think a lot of the strength of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is that they retroactively allow whatever they want to. I guarantee you they plant seeds here that they can choose or choose not to retroactively turn into sure. a symbiote. So I think the Necro Sword is going to be very much slithery. I think it's going to be very much uh, leaned into that null might might be the cause of it. And then if they choose in however many years Tom Holland wants to come back for and however they go from that, then they could make this a thing. And when you look at the 10 year plan of Kevin Feige, not only is the strength of it the fact that he looks ahead, he also looks in the past. He also goes, hey, let's make Thor Dark World very relevant due to Endgame. Let's do all these things. So I guarantee when they look at something like Null, you have the seeds planted because this is all a Donny Cates joint. Donny Cates yeah. is an incredible writer, writing Hulk right now, writing Thor right now. All of those things are gonna establish a world that they can pick and choose from with the benefit of hindsight. Now imagine that, everything he did, but you know, just w way way more editing and uh, you know, way more inserts and graphics and stuff. I just wanted to make just, sure you guys you know, know we're just rushing to get this up right He's now. He's there and a by some comic books. And most importantly, the same amount of input from both of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, Koi, look, I know you got a jet. Do you know, how, do. To, you know how to see yourself out here? I mean, I, I can figure it out. I'm get the hell out. Good luck, get the hell out of here. Right, you, no, he's, bye got, guys. he's got tickets to some place and, and he's running late already. He's a way to first. I wanted to stay. This is awesome. Thanks for being I love you guys. See you, buddy. Bye, Real Rejects. What do we do? Uh, and yeah, with this trailer, what I thought was really great about it was getting more of the relationship with Natalie Portman and Chris Hemsworth. What excites me about this is the last time that we saw Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman together, the portrayal of Thor was so different, much more brooding, much more serious. We haven't had a chance to see Natalie Portman interact with this version of Thor, one who is a much more of the comedic Chris Hemsworth style. And it looks like we're also gonna get a reinvention of Natalie Portman as Jane Foster to have 
more of her sense of humor shine as well. If you've ever seen interviews with Natalie Portman or some of the comedy she's done, she is also exquisite at comedy. She really knows comic timing very, very well. And in terms of a lot of what Koi was also riffing on when it comes to Gore the God Butcher, you know, like manipulating reality, one thing that I was thinking about was how, you know, they brought it up again in uh, Avengers Endgame due to the circumstances, but in, you know, Thor the Dark World, she's infected with the ether, you know, and that deals with reality stone, you know, warping reality. So I wonder if in some way the ether being in her is a big part of what allowed them in reality for her to manipulate itself into this situation where she can now be the mighty Thor. I think they would probably somehow hook that in to here. They might actually have more chemistry, Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman here than they did in the other Thor movies, simply because they get to be more of themselves. But John, we got other good things in here. You know, we had Zeus. <laughs> Let's talk about some stuff. I just really <laughs> like the film styles on display here because if there's one thing that I think, uh, you know, is sort of point of contention about Ragnarok for a lot of people is that they did go full comedy, that they go full garish, and for some people that was a bit too much. And I think that this does a, an interesting job and suggests a tempering of that style and aesthetic where yes, you'll have the humor, obviously, but gore, by contrast, looks directly like an injection of intensity and of monstrosity. You look at the design here, it evokes things like the orcs and the urukai from Lord of the Rings, as well as obviously the comic book art that inspires gore. I think that that's an easy way without going too far into like extreme content that you can add something that's very chilling and very hardcore to temper out yeah. some of the stakes so that maybe this might appeal further to the people who didn't like it being so comedy oriented with Taika's first outing uh, with Ragnarok. So I feel like this too represents an interesting and an exciting growth for him on this scale, bringing in both his comedic chops, which we know he has in spades, and then also the more intense, the more heavy, like gore looks like a earth shaking horror. Yeah. yeah, it looks like an earth shaking villain. And the I, I am a sucker for monochrome and the look of those moments where they're out and it's just floating debris and there's no color really feel a like quintessential comic book art and yeah. be like something really fresh and interesting and visually bold that the Marvel Cinematic Universe can now introduce. I'm rooting for this to be an expansion on Taika's film chops as well. I'm glad you talked about Zeus. Just like Zeus you looks for. really fun <laughs> and great. And I'm glad Russell Crowe is here. Naked Chris Hemsworth always a plus. I bet that blur will not be there in the movie. Yeah. I bet and, there's uh, a good new Rockstars trailer breakdown to check out. Absolutely. But guys, thank you so much for being here. We got a rush to get this up for y'all. We'll see you soon.